Another rainy day. I'm gonna make something out of some garbage today. Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Well, it's been kind of odd weather here in Southern California. It's been raining a bit here in May. And uh, just enjoying a hot cup of joe. And uh, rain stopped a little bit. And I decided that I'm going to work on something that I thought of the other day. Um, let me show you. Sorry about all the crazy light here. It's weird, rainy and sunny here. So the front of my house has got these uh, little side areas. And we've tried plants there and sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. I've been playing around a lot with succulents lately. And a while back I made some planter boxes. Well, I've been thinking about putting a uh, tiered planter box in here. Uh, I thought that'd be a pretty good idea. It would look neat. But then I started thinking, well, this area doesn't get as much sun as it could. And also, if you build a big planter box in there, it's a pain in the butt to dig, a, you know, fill it up and take stuff out. So instead I decided, I've made all these planter boxes and I usually give them away as gifts, but I've got so many of them that uh, I think I'm just gonna make a little platform that fits in here. And then I can put these planter boxes on that platform. And then if I decide that I wanna just change out one of them or, you know, the stuff isn't doing so well, I can take it out put it out here in the sunlight for a couple days. So that's what I'm gonna do. But the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to really enjoy it all that much. I mean, what if I don't like the way it turns out? I'm gonna have to take off all these little decoration things too, but. So that being said, I dug around behind the house in the burn pile. I have a pile of uh, firewood and old scraps and stuff. So I'm gonna make it all out of just some garbage wood, really. This was all, um, used for other projects and taken apart and thrown behind the garage and uh, it was probably going to get uh, thrown in the campfire at some point or another when we go camping. So if I don't like it, I just have a little bit of time invested in it. So let me get my saw out. Um, for this project, I'm probably just going to use tape measure and my chop saw and some uh, screws. So. We'll see what we can come up with. It maybe won't be the most elegant design, but I think it'll look better than having nothing there at the front of the house. Let me get set up. We'll come back and see if we can't figure out something that's gonna work. All right, so this space here is about a little bit over 18 inches. So we'll just go 18, give us a little bit of room to drop our frame into here. And it's 90 inches long. These boxes that I have enough of here are just under seven inches. So, you know, 18 divided by two is nine. So there'll be a little bit of wiggle room. And three of them don't quite complete the whole length here, but that's okay. There'll be a little bit of space between each one. I think it'll look okay. Maybe we can put little knick-knacky things between there or whatever. And I think what I'd like to do is to make the first box be about level, you know, not down, but right there. And then the next one will be right above it. And these boxes are about four inches high. So I'll probably make a six inch difference between this level and the next one. And then the dirt down here at the shallowest is about six inches over in this corner. So I'm just gonna make all the legs six inches uh, deep, and then we'll just move dirt around in there if we have to. And the nice thing about making the frame like that as well is if those uh, legs get a little bit rotten or whatever, we can just replace the legs easily instead of having to take the entire uh, giant planter box out. Now the problem with using scrap wood like what I have here is I don't have any that are 90 inches long, but that's okay. I have plenty of them that are 45 inches long or more so we're just going to make uh, an end uh, of course two ends and then we'll make a centerpiece and the centerpiece we will um, just uh, 
put right there, you know, we'll cut these to 45 or whatever we need to so that these will fall directly on the center and we can put screws on each side. Or if we have to, we can figure something out like I, looks like I did at some other point and uh, scab two together. And now we got more raindrops coming down. It's okay. The sky is promising. Here's my prototype for the, uh, for the ends and the middle pieces. Um, I just kind of laid out what my idea was. So this would be six inches. These would be 12 inches. This will be the 18 across with a nine here and nine there. So I'm gonna make three of those. One of them will be opposite with this on the other side and then the middle one can be on either side. It doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna make three of those and then I am going to have to figure out how to make uh, I should have enough pieces here to cut, let's see, eight, 45 inches long of, of the uh, two by fours. So let me build one of these first and uh, I'll show you in case I'm not visualizing the plan very well. And since this is kind of crappy wood, I've got some like broken off screws and rotten ends and stuff. So I'm just gonna cut all that off and we're gonna use as much of this as we can and hopefully it'll all turn out okay. I don't know if I could have planned this out. I just grabbed uh, all the two by fours I had laying in my scrap pile there in the uh, wood. It was actually like a campfire pile. But after cutting everything out, I have none of the uh, pieces remaining. And this is all the bits and pieces that I have. So really only a couple of them that are over six inches long, but Hopefully you can get the gist of the whole thing here. This is the right hand side. This is the center. And I did put uh, support on each side to provide additional support and place to screw it in here. And this will be the left and that will go over onto that side on the center. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna uh, grab a shovel and move some dirt around in there. So I have approximately six inches down on the left, the right, and the center. You know, I'm not too concerned if it's not perfect. Uh, we'll get it pretty close, and then I'm gonna put this in there. I'll show you uh, what it looks like once it's in there. And still need to think about what we wanna put across this face here, if we wanna do something. I think we really probably should. It'll look better. We'll. Uh, Wait till we get it installed and see what it looks like. Okay, I moved some dirt around and uh, pretty close already. A little bit of work, maybe we'll see. Now all I gotta do is screw these boards down. There we go. Get it to the center here. This has got to move over a little bit, or that one's got to move over a little bit. There's a little bit of wiggle room. I think I left, uh, it's 91 inches or so, so I left about an inch. Let's see how it looks over here. Yeah. Yep, there's about that much wiggle room. So, let me get these screwed down, and uh, we'll see how she looks. Well, there it is. And all of its repurposed glory and nothing too fancy but let's uh let's put a couple of planter boxes up on there and see how she looks let's set you over here all right one in the middle we only have three that have plants in them currently And three empty ones. But we'll fill them up here in a minute. We'll get the final verdict on this thing. And just like the uh, just like the wood did pretty good on the screws too. This was a brand new box. I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, still thinking I want to put a, a filler piece there but maybe we'll just leave it open for now uh, 
until uh, until I fill these boxes. Let me fill them boxes up. And we'll put them all on there. See what it looks like with uh, plants everywhere. My lovely lady came out here and took a look at this, and uh, she liked it. And of course, she said she wanted to close off that uh, space there, and maybe even the same down here. And we had some fence ends left over. A friend dropped off. I was going to make some projects out of. So my lovely lady suggested that I cut these at just varying heights, kind of give it a rustic look, I guess. So those are just cut and set there. I'm going to grab my air nailer and I am going to tack those in and then down, down here. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. If I'm going to cut short ones like this or short ones like that, but it'll be the same thing and I'll just nail them across to kind of close out this little section here. So let me uh, grab the air nailer. We'll uh, see what she looks like after I get those tacked up. We ended up getting a little bit of sprinkling, but it's all dry now. Turned out to not be too bad of a day. So the whole entire project I completed with the chop saw, the drill driver here, tape measure, square, pencil, and a brad nailer. You really, you know, if you just had a handheld circular saw, you could make something like this. Uh, you really should get a drill driver, but I guess if you didn't have one, you could put it together with nails. And let's see how she looks here. Nice. I added a little bit of decoration stuff here between. Uh, filled up all these boxes. All this stuff is just cuttings off of the current plants that I have. Basically, you just, you could cut this one off right here, stick it in the dirt, and I'd say about nine out of 10 times, it's gonna grow. That's how easy this stuff is to grow. All this, all this is cuttings off of a few that I got maybe a year and a half, two, well, about two years ago from a friend of mine who was moving. He gave me some of his uh, succulents, and over time, I have just propagated all of this myself and uh, now look at, now look at that. It's much more inviting than that big empty hole there, but now my wife wants me to do the same on this side. She's got some of her school stuff she's been moving here, so we'll see. Uh, I suppose it would look pretty nice to be on both sides. And we'll see how it works as far as uh, getting enough sun. Um, this side of the house, you ain't gonna get any sun for a while. And we've had plants here that died because they got too much sun, so that's why this was put up here, but we might have to take that down. But the nice thing about these boxes is that I could rotate, rotate them out. Like I could take uh, that one out for a couple days, put it back, and take that one out for a couple days and put it back. So I know these succulents will grow okay with limited sunlight. Some of them grow really good without a lot and some need a lot. They don't need a lot of water. So that's kind of nice. So not too bad. We made all this out of uh, recycled, repurposed items for the most part. I used a box of screws that I had laying around here, but I didn't have to go to the hardware store. But if I have to make one for the other side, I'm gonna have to figure something out because uh, I don't have a whole lot of extra two by fours. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how this one holds up for a little bit. If you're digging what I'm putting out, give me that thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all that sort of stuff. I like to know people are watching. Give me some feedback, you know? Otherwise, I'm just here talking to myself. I don't mind, I mean, I'm a good audience. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.